Hi. Luca just arrived. No, not this one. That's the XCAT Sun 10, uh, the bug probe. We just, it was just re uh, released a few months ago. No, this is the new release. The XDS-110 Energy Trace HDR add-on. It actually attaches to my uh, XDS-110 and increases the uh, the dynamic range of the of the energy trace capability of the XDS-110. It basically increases the sampling rate from 2K to 256 kilo samples per second and increases the output current in two ranges from 400 milliamps up to 800 milliamps of output. The XS110 goes up to 100. Anyways, let's let's take a look at it. Okay, comes with paperwork, terms and conditions, a small guides. Alrighty. <laughs> Comes with a USB cable. Hmm, interesting. And <laughs> nice bow. Okay. So here it is. That is oh, <laughs> that is the the add-on. Oh, that's the that's where the USB cable comes. Uh, it provides the auxiliary port, auxiliary po uh, power, because a USB does uh, can only supply up to 500 milliamps. So if this one goes up to 800, it needs an auxiliary port, and that is the connector that connects on top of the XCS110. So basically. Let's go. There you go. So that's the arrangement. They're both the same size, obviously. And the connections to the target are all done under the same 14-pin uh, connector, just like in a regular uh, energy trace session. Let's let's plug the hardware and and, and see how that that goes. Well, this is my setup. You can see here that I have uh, the ground and the target supply out connected to my board, the ground and the 3.3 volt uh, line of my of my of my CC 2640R2 board, and also naturally I have the uh, the JTAG connection as well, so I can actually load code to it. So you can tell I'm going to start, uh, just for comparison, I'm going to start uh, using my uh, XDS-110 uh, debug probe. Moving to the CCS screen, let me just start my debug session. But before, you always have to be careful of one thing. Just like in any uh, regular energy trace session, you need to provide to make sure that the target is uh, providing uh, power to the to the board. So in your setup here, you go to XDS one ten and see that the probe supplied power in three point three volts. Okay, let's let's debug this project. Okay, the code is loaded. Let me start my energy trace session. Let me just increase here. And I want to make sure that I'm starting. Okay, so I'm starting on halt. So I'm starting and running together with the code execution. Let's go. Let me capture hmm, about 10, 15 seconds of data. You can see here the current, the current's not terribly high, but it goes to, well, 14 milliamps maximum. All right, 
let me halt the target and let's see here the current you see that there's a lot of spikes in here at about six six ish uh, milliamps just zoom into one of these uh, spikes uh oh let me just oh, zoom out here but you can see how the uh, how the uh, the steps on the on the current measurement uh, are getting a are getting a little bit of a they don't have enough resolution or they have well they have some resolution in here but you can see that the the wave is quite uh, squared let's try with the uh, the HDR just turn off this just for safety and let me let me disconnect uh, from the debug session you can see how easy it is to simply add the energy trace uh, HDR to the system nothing else needs to be changed in terms of wiring and connections you simply add the pod just make sure you uh, disconnect the base XCS110 from any power so you don't you don't risk uh, any any possible spikes or anything like that back to my CCS let's start over so let's issue our energy trace again and let's make sure it's on halt okay good now let's start same thing running for about uh, 10 to 15 seconds you see an interesting detail in here it ran to uh, 16 milliamps so it may have caught a uh, spike that the previous one uh, didn't get let's see how the the waveform looks like okay halted let's take a look at the the current uh-huh <laughs> quite interesting you can see well firsthand that the average current actually increased by a large margin it's it was about six and a bit now it's slightly above uh, eight milliamps and you have some really high spikes in here let's take a look at them the second highest one aha uh -huh. you can tell here that uh, you can tell here that there is a uh, it seems to have quite a lot more resolution in it uh, on the on the on the on the current measurement and that is why that is because the uh, the HDR actually reads at a higher sampling rate there's this big spike here that I missed when I zoomed in and it's reaching 13 and a bit let me just improve yeah there you go so uh, enhancing uh, zooming a little bit more you can see uh, how how you get the extra resolution actually helps you measure a lot better the the different variants variations of the of the measured current so that is the biggest benefit that the uh, the energy uh, trace HDR brings to you uh, and it can also uh, you can also configure it to show two two different ranges of measurement you can uh, can use the 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 low current uh, measurement with a uh, higher accuracy and you can use the high current with uh, with lower accuracy the lower accuracy is simply because it uses a higher shunt uh, so you would have a little bit less on the a little bit less resolution at the bottom here but you would still have the same uh, the same sampling rate let's try with the higher range see here it's just measuring a bit yeah you got a little bit less here but perhaps it's because the code is at a different stage space here stage here but you get a little bit less 
uh, accuracy on the current measurement. So let me just try to expand here. Let me see if I can catch this peak. Yeah, you can tell that I still have quite a high sampling rate because my waveform is, is, is quite good but I, I lose a little bit on the on the accuracy of the measurement. This is probably one of those 13 milliamp uh, spikes. So well overall that's it. That's what Energy Trace HDR brings you to different modes of operation and uh, uh, an enormous increase uh, in sampling rate and thus a better uh, waveform for uh, me current measurements. I hope you have enjoyed this short clip and see you next time.